And the first point on the agenda is just update on the ZO36 release. So hopefully over the weekend or early next week, we should have the first RC. And then if that works fine, then at the end of the week or in another week, we should have the GA. So just, I guess everyone on the call knows that, but for the recording, Okay, and if nobody has anything to that, then uh, let's talk about ERs and issues. Uh, I picked up a few of them here. Uh, Kyle, this one is yours. I guess you will work on the proposal as I suggested. Oh yeah, yeah, that's just needs a proposal. Should we move it to draft in the meantime or close it so that it's not um, taking there? Uh, can we move it to draft? Um, yes. Yeah, the proposal should be ready soon. And Okay. Then there's actually quite a lot of system test PRs, but I see uh, don't see any of the authors on the call. So if they watch the recording, then maybe they can uh, go through them and try to move them forward. Some of them are open for quite some time. And then I added two more from the other projects. This one is super old for the OAuth, Marco. Can you have a look at it and do something about it? Yeah, I um, I went through the document attached to this meeting and I noticed it. Um, I started taking a look again at this one. Uh, basically, at this point, it needs a rebase. Uh, I did some rebase, but it wasn't quite properly done. For um, sort of next steps, the my question here is there are some things that uh, i'm changing in it but that now becomes like my branch in my repo and pr is in this user's branch of course so uh, i don't want to hijack the pr right um and say like okay <laughs> open a new pr with my branch and then you you participate there so i want to engage him uh, so i want to put it in certain phase a certain um so rebased state so that uh, it's clean in terms of merging so that he doesn't have to deal with it because there are some places a lot of changes has been since then so some places i really had to be careful how to merge the things so that everything is proper um so essentially my idea is to comment on the issue that uh, i have a rebase uh available somewhere and that he can do a hard reset on it uh and we can continue then here on the spr yeah maybe even before you push the rebase there maybe you can comment on it and check with the author if, if he's fine with that yeah we can do this as well and like yeah i think you can raise there the the comments if you have any and simply ask if he wants to work on that or if it's easier if you work on that so that yeah i don't know if he would be willing to do that then it might be easiest that way so that i mean i already have it done the replace right so yeah. he's willing to work more with, with us um to work out any issues uh, on the actual review that we do. Um, basically, his implementation is quite 
Okay. Right. So on the review, we may find certain things to um, sort of, you know, question them and maybe find a different way to do them. But essentially, functionality wise, uh, his PR is ready. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, And then the next one is for the OAuth plugin. Paolo, do you have any idea about the state of it? Is it waiting for Tom or? So I remember that I should have approved this one, right? I'm opening. Oh, not yet. So, okay. You, I have you, to... did, you did approve it. Uh, I opened the wrong link, sorry. Yep. Yeah, so it's waiting for Tom, I guess, right now. Okay. Who's on vacation this week? So maybe next week. Okay, anyone has any other PR to discuss or issue? If not, then same as last time, there's still this server-side apply proposal. Uh, I think I have one more open comment on it. Uh, and then I will be good with it. But I think so far only Tom, Paul and me commented on it. So it would be great if everyone else, at least from the maintainers, has a look as well. Uh, so that we can move forward with it as well. Anyone has anything else to proposals? If not, then issue triage is next. So uh, let me zoom it in a bit. So for this one, we said last time that we would need to get some more information, but we didn't get any. So I guess we should close it. Yep. Next one is exactly the same. So I guess we close it as well. Yes. Okay, this one is from last week, July 4th, so it's 10 days as well. And like this is not a valid listener configuration, there's no clear lock or anything. So I guess we can close it as well, because it's not really clear what the issue is, what the version is how the configuration looks like and so on. 
Yeah, maybe just mentioning to the user that if it comes with additional information, you can reopen it. Okay, it's a quick triage. All of them should have been your questions. Okay, this one is a bit more interesting. It's about adding a new field to the to the service template, I guess, or the listener configuration with a new option. I guess listener configuration makes more sense. I I think this in general makes sense. I think we should accept that as an enhancement. Sounds good to me. And I think this might fit quite well into the listener configuration section, which already has some similar fields such as the IP family policy, uh, the load balancer class, and so on. Yeah, sorry, was reading about uh, the issue and the uh, and the doc. So yes, agree, makes sense. I think this could be a good start issue. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So on the next one, this seems like some environment issue. And the user here was actually fairly responsive for some time, but it didn't reproduce for me and the log doesn't really show what the user describes. Should we maybe convert this into a discussion and close the issue? I guess if we don't have any evidence um, or reproducer, it'd probably be better to do that. But do we want to close it so quickly or do we want to give them more time to get back? Well, if we convert it to discussion, then discussion can continue. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, then definitely. Because it seems more like a like a discussion than a general bug which would affect everyone. Right, yeah, I mean, not that my opinion matters, but if if it's an issue, if you have a reproducer, I mean, it's a proved issue when you reproduce your view. Can't reproduce it. It's a discussion. It's a discussion until you can reproduce it. Uh, anyway, if it will then comes to be a, an issue, uh, but I don't think so. Uh, you can revert back to an issue, right? Or opening a, a new issue for the discussion. Yeah. 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 Okay.
Okay. So this one is a bit more complicated. It's about not mounting the service account token into the pods, but there are many situations where we actually need it because we need to talk with the Kubernetes API. So, so it's not as easy as just not, not using it or allowing it as an option. So I'm not yeah. sure if this is something we want to do or what to do about it. Well, it seems that it's going to break some features if you allow something like this, right? Because then we you are not be able to talk with Kubernetes API anymore. And yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm not sure we want to allow something like this to be honest. But it doesn't break every cluster, right? So ah yes. <laughs> In theory, you can also approach it as in, yeah, if the user disables it and uses the features and it breaks, it's his problem, but that's not that nice. Mm -hmm. You can also approach it as in disable service account when not needed or something like that. So that the operator use that only when it thinks it's needed or something like that. But I don't really know if it's if it's worth it. Maybe we can also ask the user to propose how would he expect it to work. Yeah. Like this, does it make sense? Yep. And we can leave it till next time and see if someone has some good ideas or. Okay, okay, okay. So here the user is complaining about defaulting to PKCS format and not supporting PEM format. But it's absolutely not clear to me what secrets is he talking about because in general we support PEM format everywhere as the main format. So. I will ju just leave for the next time to give the user more time to reply because you made the point. So. Okay, then for the 10th time in streams is history. Someone wants to add the username in the Kafka user resource. But at least my personal view is that we should not overcomplicate it and add the complexity there. But I don't know what others think.
Yeah, I also see that the user is, is okay with you closing the issue. So should we reject it? Yeah, at this point, we already discussed these kind of things. So the user is happy, we are happy. Okay, and the last one is about using some JE malloc implementation. So I think I pretty much guided the user that he can build his own images where he does this. But to be honest, I don't understand this whole JE malloc stuff. I wondered if it is something what we should, if it is better, if it's something what we should consider by default or. But I don't really understand the part. So I was wondering if we should try to leave it for next call when Tom Bentley will be in, he might have some idea what this stuff means. So we should we just leave this as is for now? Just assign it to Tom, because he's not here to say no. No, we should not assign it to him. Should leave it for the next triage if you want to get back to it or or do something about it now. All over, do you think? I was going through the issue because, uh, yeah, it was pretty long. And uh, so, 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 as far as I understood, we are missing this J malloc implementation in our images, right? And you provided the way him as a workaround to build his own image. Well, I don't think we are missing it, right? It's like the same Switching category. To it. The same category of people who want to use Alpine Linux for whatever reason and who want to use Azul JDK instead of Open JDK and so on, right? Like, like I do not think we want to cutter for all these things and have some complicated logic to allow you build some customizations like this into it. If, if you want to use something mm -hmm. like this, then I think you should simply build it from, from the source and customize it any way you want. What I think was more interesting is uh, like, is this thing better just for this guy for some reason or? In general for, for Is it for better us. in general? Mm. Uh, if it's better in general, yeah, wouldn't it be part of Java itself if it was that easy? Yeah, to be honest, I, I, I don't know about this JE malloc. I know about the malloc in C. Uh, so yeah, I'm not able to, to answer your question right now. As you say, la let's leave it for the next time. Yeah, but what do we want to discuss on it next time? 
So at least we can go and take a look at this J malloc, what it provides and uh, what are the difference with malloc and because to be honest, I, I don't know about it, so. Because I mean, I don't think we want to make it as configurable in any case. Yeah, yeah, but we are saying, uh, the let's try to understand me, if it's, it's better more, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to, to use this as default, right? So we need time to, to investigate, so. And also the, the, the user, when talking about the issue, he said, this led me to believe that the problem is related to. So now are we sure that the problem was related to the C malloc or, or not? Yeah, it's so, also so complicated with all kinds of platforms we support and so on, right? If you do it by default, does it really work that way on all platforms or? Maybe at least uh, just for getting more feedback, uh, can you ask to the user if uh, he had a new image working and he was facing uh, again the issue or the issue? Well, he says he tried it and it helped for him to help him, but uh, I'm not sure what. Where is he said that uh, he, he worked? So uh, the last sentence is about, I think I focused too much on connect the process. I forgot about to change the image. Yeah, but that's just to my suggestion of how we can do it. But he says here that he did it through the Kafka plugins as a, ah, as okay. a way to do it for connect. Ah, yes. So my understanding is that he tried it and it helped him. And it helped him, okay but like a lot of that can depend also on what connectors are you using, whether you are using compression, not compression and so on. So, so I'm not sure if it's a thing which helps everyone or. Yeah, it could even break a lot of other things. This is probably a dumb question, but why isn't this user discussing this in a Kafka Connect forum rather than a Strimzy one? That's not obvious to me. I'm not sure I or the user see the direct connection to the Kafka Connect. Uh, the the right. way so so the way the user explained it seems to me more like this is something between Java and libc or glibc or whatever that is. And like okay. the main point of the question is how can he easily customize this? Like he's essentially asking us for some way how he can kind of flip some switch and we deploy the operand with this malloc instead of the original malloc. Hmm. Okay. So that's why I think it's in Strimzy because that's Strimzy thing, right? But like, I don't know if the, if the user really has deep enough, or I certainly don't have deep enough understanding to understand whether this is some general issue between Java and malloc, or if this is for whatever reason somehow specific to Kafka and connect or. Okay, thanks. So like this, would it make sense? 
and let's see what we think next time. Yeah, okay. I don't know, Tom knows these low level things, so maybe he will have some idea what it is about. I read a bit uh, this link that he posted in the original description. So the basics are that glibc as malloc call function, right? And this jmalloc kind of override, overrides it with its own. And then uh, it's able to release some memory when it's not needed by GVM. And for some magical reason, this implementation of malloc does it and the original glibc malloc does not so he hacks the let's say the linux yeah. okay so we get back to it again next time and then decide and that's it for the triage, as well as for the agenda. Does anyone have any other business to discuss? If not, then that's it for this week. Thanks for joining and uh, see you next time. See you folks. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye.